Good morning everybody, it is the 2nd of January 2024, so Happy New Year to every single one of you. You've probably had a lot more relaxing Christmas than New Year than I have, I hope, hopefully you have anyway. I've had quite a stressful one, because as you know, I've moved down to Essex, so I've been moving down over the Christmas period, trying to get everything down, and uh, it's been quite stressful to be fair, but it's not been that bad. Most of my days have been spent driving to Dunelm and getting towels and putting up curtains and things like that, so... Yeah, I've still not got internet in a place, which is why some of the uploads have been a bit... I haven't had any uploads, and that's just because I've literally had no internet in a place. I've had to go into the office, but I've had to work around office hours with other people when they're working for Christmas and blah, blah, blah. So, now we've got no excuses. It's 2nd January, we've got to crack on. We've got to start getting back to work properly. So, as you know, I think I had like eight or nine cars or something like that. Um, and I've got rid of quite of a lot of them. I'm not going to lie. So, the main reasons were is that I actually thought potentially I might have to pay six months up front for my place down here. I've had to do that in the past and uh, I thought that was a really big possibility. So we sold the Mustang, we ended up getting rid of the Mustang because obviously I want to get properly into the drifting and the Mustang is just not the right chassis for it. You can't get parts for it and blah, blah, blah. I think it breaks on ruin. So we sold the Mustang. If you've got me on Instagram, you probably know that we sold the Mustang. We sold the Discovery because it's just a, it's a it would have been a pain to get down here. Most things can't trailer the, the, the Discovery. I'm definitely not driving the Discovery. So I've sold the Discovery. So the Mustang is gone, the Disco has gone, and I actually sold two more cars as well. So as you can see, we're in the van here, and the van is literally the only car I have I have right now, it's definitely the only drivable car that I own right now. By the way, this gets like 50 odd to the gallon. This is great to drive. Well, until I go and collect my new car today, yes, we're getting a new car. Don't get too excited, it's nothing like crazy, crazy for the channel, but it's something that I really want and it's something that will massively benefit the channel. So yeah, we sold the Mustang and we sold the Discovery and that was basically just in case I had to pay six months up front on the place down here. Luckily I didn't, so it wasn't a waste of time. It, it's handy not bringing them, them cars down anyway. It's good to have a fresh start now and again. As you know, or as you don't know, we've had the Jag for sale for quite a while now. It's been a really tough car to sell. I'm guessing it's just quite a niche car. And obviously it's not really the time of year to sell 500 or so a real drive car, but Anyway, the Jag sold last night, which I'm grateful for, so the Jag has gone. And also, along with that, we're going to be selling the X5. <laughs> uh, because, as you know, the X5, it was literally like a last-minute tow car. I needed one, and yes, it brought a lot of content out. And I've actually been all over the world with the X5. I've been to seven different countries in six months with the X5. I've, I've literally made like a little bit of a story with that car. It's going to have, the X5 is going to have a place in my heart for the rest of my life. But, however much it's going to have a place in my heart... <laughs> It's a shit box. Yes, we've got rid of four cars and we've bought one. So, what is it? Well, let's go to the cinematic. So yes, we got a newer, <laughs> a newer X5. So why have we got a newer X5? What's the point in selling four cars and just buying a car that I've already got? I was actually really, 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 really impressed with my X5, considering how bad of a condition it was when we first bought it, um, considering how far the car got and, and what it's done and, and where it's took me and the things that it's allowed me to do. I was actually really, really, really impressed with the X5. Like, it drove all the way through Italy, all the way through Austria, all the way through Switzerland, and it's one of the worst cars I've ever bought in my entire life. I actually can't fault the X5. The only thing I didn't like about the X5 was that it was just rough. It's not been looked after. It didn't look nice. It wasn't a nice place to be inside, but the engine was, I can't actually fault the engine. So, we've just upgraded something which I trust. But it's just those things. It's nicer, it looks nicer, it's a nice place to be. It's got the same engine, just a basically an uprated version. So it's technically an even better engine. And even better, this is owned by a friend of mine who owns AMD. So Ronnie, who owns AMD, this is his personal X5. And he actually basically got it for him and his wife. 
So he has changed so much on this. He's put a timing chain on it. He's put the four point, he's put the bigger diff because I know that obviously everybody who's owning an X5, you know that the biggest issues on those cars are the diffs. But he's got the bigger diff in the back. It's got the bigger drive shafts in the back. Um, it's got timing chain done. It's had all the brakes done, all the arms done. Basically, Ronnie wanted to make this car safe and reliable for his wife. Now he's selling it. I'm, yeah, I'm the new wife. <laughs> I know that he's looked after this car and this is going to be perfect for me. Why have we sold four cars just to get a diesel daily pretty much? So yeah, why have we got a diesel daily? Why have we sold four cars to get a diesel daily? The reason is, is that I've changed as a person and uh, I've matured as a person. I don't necessarily care about having a fast car on the road because I do other fun shit now. Like I, I do drift demos at shows. Thank you, mate. That's amazing. Right. It's like I have crazy engine build cars, which I probably won't want to drive around that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're gonna get hot feet, definitely. Yeah. Um, and also I have a company now called True Rally and I get my entertainment from life from doing these rallies and doing those rallies is something that's comfortable and reliable. I don't really like driving fast on the road. I don't necessarily want to promote driving fast on the road. It's stressful, it's not enjoyable and there's just too much risk. My X5 was set was £700 tax a year. My Jag was £700 tax a year and I was paying two lots of insurance. Why don't I just get a nice car like this that I can do everything in. I can go to business meetings in this. I can go to rallies in this, I can tow with this, I can do everything with this and then I can have more money saved up for the cool projects and more money to do the stuff which I absolutely love which is driving cars around tracks, building cool cars and going on road trips and this is perfect for it. It opens up more money, more cash flow for the cool projects. I know a lot of people are saying in the comments, oh you've got so many engine swaps going on. Yeah, I do and one is because I love doing that stuff. Like. For me, you don't forget, I've done years of YouTube of doing coilovers and doing this and doing that. It's not exciting for me anymore to just repeat the same thing over and over again. Um, I do want to do more crash car stuff because that's good, that's fun. I like learning new things and doing engine swap stuff is something that I'm really interested in. really interested and I'd love to be able to do it. I know I've got a few projects going on at the minute and that's because the first two projects I've done, I'm just learning the way, you know, and people are liking the Reliant and some people aren't liking the E30 build as much as I'm going on views. But I love doing them and it's more fun and one thing I've learned from doing YouTube is you have to do something which you enjoy. If you don't enjoy it, it comes across in camera and then people will stop watching and people don't enjoy it. That's the main thing. I'd rather have a series which I'm excited to do and get half the views than a, a, a series which bores the living hell out of me. It feels like I'm cheating. It feels like I'm selling myself out just to get double the views. So yeah, this is a 20... 11, 2011, 2010, 2011 BMW X5. Now it's not that much newer. Mine was 2006, it's only four years, four or five years newer, but the difference is massive. So not only is this the new uh, shape, it's also the face. So this is the LCI version of the new shape. So it's a nice looking car. We've got full pan roof all the way up and this is basically the top spec. It's the M Sport three litre diesel. So it's the good reliable engine and it's the M Sport package. So we've got all the juicy bits. And the biggest thing is this is the LCI. So the LCI is the facelift version. So you've got the nicer front lights, the nicer rear lights, and we've got the full big beefy body kit. It's a beautiful car. It's in white. It's full spec. I absolutely love it. Um, and this is going to be the new workhorse. This is going to be towing everything to all the drift events it's going to be towing the reliance while the show's going to be, we're going to be doing a load of shows this year with true rally and stuff and i, I actually do the drift demos at shows as well so we're going to be there doing loads of stuff i'm going to be towing probably the e30 in this i'm going to have my friend towing the towing the reliant for the true rally stand and today this year is going to be a big year and we're going to be doing a lot of rallies obviously true rally are holding a rally through switzerland we're going to germany austria it's we're doing so many rallies this year through europe and having a car like this is perfect because for a few reasons, this is all-wheel drive, um, it's diesel, and obviously it has split tailgates, big boots, I can fit a lot of stuff and I can fit photographers in this. Once you go to a four-wheel drive car or, or, or a 4x4, you never go back. <laughs> you, you just don't, you just realise how good of a life it is, just being able to do everything in one vehicle. And 
This is half the price on tax as my X5 alone. So with my X5 and my Jaguar, I was paying £1,400 a year tax just for those two cars. This is 360. So it's an absolute no-brainer. Uh, we need to do the tracking. I think it needs a front left tyre, but Ronnie's going to sort that for us. So one of the people in the comments saying, oh, there's too many engine swaps, finish your build. I am sorry. We didn't do the 190 the way we should have, and it's just taking so long. The Reliant is going to be coming down here. Obviously, the fact that I'm moving down south has put a little bit of a, uh, a delay on things because the Reliant's still up north and it's a hard car to get down here because it's only got three fucking wheels. You can't put it on many trailers. So it is coming down here. I promise it's going to be down here in the next week. So the Reliant build is going to be finished in the next month. I literally, all I've got to do is put the wiring back in uh, and the E30 is going to be cracking as well. And we are going to be getting some more relatable stuff. I know everything's engine swapped. We're going to be getting some more relatable stuff. So we're going to be getting some more Copart builds and we're going to be looking. Now we've got a lot more cash flow because... I uh, didn't have to pay six months up front on the flat and also we got rid of some cars so we've got a lot of cash to play around with so we're going to be getting some, uh, some, some, some more relatable stuff and not engine swap stuff so I love you all and we'll see you in the next one.